Hi guys. So recently I've had the worst chapped dry lips ever. Every single morning I'm waking up with such dry lips. So why do lips become so chapped? So basically you have a outer layer on your skin all over that is shielding your skin from losing water. And that's called the stratum corneum. The stratum corneum on the lip is super thin, really, really thin. And so water, it's basically just kind of pouring out the front door essentially. And especially in the winter when the humidity drops, essentially you're getting this evaporative water loss. It's just pulling the water from your lips. It can also be worsened if you're licking your lips a lot because you get an evaporative water loss from the stratum corneum, from the skin. So I think a common question that comes up in regards to dry lips is, can you be addicted to your chapstick, to your lip balm? If you're just tuning in, I'm Dr. Abby Waldman. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I work at Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. So technically you cannot be addicted per se to your chapstick. There's nothing like caffeine in it or nicotine or something that really sends your brain the message that like you have to have this, you depend on it. That being said, you it's very easy to form a habit of putting on chapstick or lip balm. And the reason is these chapsticks or lip balm, which is the, the generic, contain ingredients that actually irritate your lip and make you need more chapstick, need more balm. And those ingredients are camphor, menthol, phenol, and alcohol. Can you imagine just like putting some alcohol on your lips? It's like so drying but many of these products do contain these ingredients and it makes you really want them more so you get that like tingly feeling from the menthol then it's drying and then you're in this cycle of needing more chapstick so what do you do if you're like me and you really get bad dried lips especially in the winter so first is don't use a chapstick or lip balm that contains those ingredients again they're camphor menthol alcohol and phenol you want to avoid licking your lips. Obviously you don't want the uh, evaporative water loss from your lips that increases that dryness, even though it can feel really good when you first lick them because it feels like it, they're moisturizing and then it's just going to create this bad cycle. Don't use an exfoliator. Don't exfoliate your lips. Remember that stratum corneum is super thin, right? Exfoliants like alpha hydroxy acid are meant to remove the dead layer, the top layer of skin. There's very little, skin, but it can seem counterintuitive because you see the little dry skin pieces that are kind of flaking off, but really that exfoliation is just really going to make things a lot worse. So in addition to avoiding using your exfoliant, like alpha hydroxy acid on your lips, you also want to avoid other irritating things that you might be putting on your face. It's really easy to kind of be like, Oh, put it on my face and then just rub it all in and get some on your lips. And, um, things like retinoids or salicylic acid, uh, those things can be super irritating for the lips and make dry lips much worse. So really think about that when you're putting on your night cream or other parts of your skincare routine. So what do you want to do? Really? You want to keep it simple. So essentially you're really just going to use petrolatum, uh, petroleum jelly, Vaseline, Aquaphor, whatever you like, but especially using it at night, it's going to seal in the moisture. It's going to be an occlusant that really keeps that moisture from evaporating out of your lips. During the daytime, you want to pick a product that has an SPF of 30. Um, if you're going to be outside, if you're going to be getting sun, it's key to use a product with SPF. Now you can put your normal sunscreen on your lips. Um, oftentimes people complain of taste. Also when you eat, it's very easy for it to be removed. So really bringing along a product that has SPF, just reapply it whenever you've eaten. There's lots of other products you can consider. Dr. Dre has a great YouTube video that reviews different lip products that are out there. Um, I'll include the link in my comments. And another thing you can think about, I do this for my kids, is to put a humidifier in their room during the winter um, that adds some moisture back into the air so you get a little bit less of that evaporative water loss when, when you're sleeping at night. So I hope this was helpful to get you through the long winters of chapped lips. Please like this video, comment, and make sure to subscribe if you want more information about having the best skin possible.